So at Jiro, uh, we have a relentless pursuit of new technologies. We, we are looking at anything. We are looking at any technology that allows us to reduce energy to the brain. So we've been evaluating the MIPS technology for about two years and by digging in and, and going deep on these issues and working with MIPS very closely we've been able to come out with the answers that we needed to move forward. My name is uh, Peter Haldin. I'm the C2 of uh, MIPS. I'm also the, one of the founders of uh, MIPS and uh, I'm also a PhD from uh, Technical University in Stockholm, KTH, uh, Royal Institute of Technology. The MIPS idea was uh, um, actually sprung out from uh, what we could see in the human head and the human brain. We have the, the skull. Inside of the skull we have a, a small layer of uh, cerebrospinal fluid, it's like water. And then we have the, the, the brain. We have the sliding layer, the skull can move a little bit and then damp out the rotational movement. Uh, otherwise transmitted into the brain. So uh, what we did, uh, we copied or mimicked uh, this safety solution into the helmet. Had an impact, uh, a normal impact to the helmet. Uh, the helmet will be compressed to the skull and it, uh, the scalp can move a little bit but uh, it's not uh, uh, very much. So the helmet will get stuck uh, on, the, on the head. And the helmet with uh, MIPS when we have an uh, angled impact, the helmet can, as we have the MIPS sliding layer, we have also a sliding enablers attached to the EPS. It's a fabric, so making this plastic to, to move more easily, lowering the coefficient of friction. So at an uh, angle impact, the helmet can rotate and slide like 10 to 15 millimeters. But what is most important is at an impact, that uh, we redirect the, the force by uh, this relative motion. So a, no a normal helmet absorbs uh, or is designed to absorb energy in this direction, straight to the helmet, while a helmet with MIPS is also designed for uh, an impact in this direction where we have the, the rotation. So that is adding a new dimension into the helmet thinking. Uh, we went through uh, hundreds of uh, knockout movies uh, or movies from knock knockouts in, in boxing and it could, uh, actually you could see the boxers standing hitting each other minute after minute but then suddenly they got the, the uppercut or uh, a hit where you get the rotation of the head and that's always the, the knockout hit. During the years we have run uh, thousands of tests uh, in the MIPS test lab with a significant uh, reduction of the rotational accelerations uh, and so on, so we are very confident that the, the system works. We have also seen um, third party testing uh, by, by Genetics in Canada where they tested both bike, ski, motorcycle and American football helmets with a, a good result. Uh, also Jairo Bell uh, did a pendulum test uh, of the MIPS system with a good results. I think the dome is a unique place uh, that I don't see exist uh, anywhere else uh, with any other company. Um, the ability for us to do our own prototyping in-house, uh, the ability for us to do all of our own testing uh, is very unique in the industry. And one of the questions we had was about the test fixturing and how uh, testing for MIPS or rotational energy actually worked. Uh, so we have, we went back to look at our own test rigs that we use to test linear uh, energy. We looked at MIPS's rotational energy test fixture and by asking all these questions we decided that we needed another another rig and then we came up with a pendulum style test fixture that incorporates a torso, a neck, an instrumented head and what this allowed us to do was take the uh, study, the research of uh, rotational energy to the head even further. Uh, there's still a lot of things to do and a lot of things to learn about the human brain and uh, especially when you look into different brain injuries. Uh, there is a, a need for much more research. Uh, I think all uh, the whole helmet industry will uh, make a huge step forward uh, within the, the next five years when it comes to improving the, the head protection. 
adding this MIPS technology is just another example of, of what we strive to do here every day. Um, we come in, we, we try to make products that are really uh, you know, fundamental to what we believe in, and that is, that is the safety of the rider, whether it be bike or snow. Um, and what we're trying to do is, is increase that level of safety, that level of protection that a rider has. Adding this MIPS technology uh, is exciting for us and we look forward to the future where we continue to pursue uh, technologies that will reduce energy to the head.